Hey, what's up? Um, I'm making a video game now. This is a video game channel. I'm making a game, and that's the game. Okay, so I know you came here for animation, um, or you came here for, like, art-related talks, but uh, I don't do uh, any of that, really. Now, I make video games, and in a year or two, maybe I'll do something else. The point is, I'm, I've am i gotten really into making games on my free time, and uh, this one I'm really excited about, even though I just started it. But I'd like to do development logs here on this channel and bring you guys along for the development ride. Maybe you guys can help me out. Maybe you can suggest things from time to time. Um, but yeah, uh, making games is super fun and this is kind of what I've been doing throughout the course of a few months. <laughs> I'm new to it. But I just kind of wanted to start off by showing you where I'm at and what the game is like right now or what like the demo prototype is like. It's, it's kind of nothing right now, but I'm really inspired by games like Hollow Knight and Ori in the Blind Forest and I just kind of wanted to make a game based on exploration and atmosphere and I really like that. I like Metroidvanias, and I wanted to make one. <laughs> right now, it doesn't have a title. It doesn't really have much. It's just kind of like an inkling of an idea. But I wanted to start doing these devlogs early and just, just kind of hit the ground running. So in this video, I'm just kind of going to show you what the game is. I'm going to talk about my plans for it and maybe more. Maybe I'll do more stuff. I don't know. I'm just flying by the seat of my hand of the coattails i'm flying by i'm i'm just going as i go i'm just making it up as i go along let me just show you what it looks like okay so this is it right now. This is the game. Uh, this is what it looks like so far. Um, all, of, all of the art and stuff is pretty temporary. Like even the animations I have for the character is, uh, you know, it's, it's just placeholder. It's not really in between. It's just kind of like some keyframes to imply what's going on. Uh, and I got a basic attack as well. Just a... <laughs> Um, I don't have any enemies imported yet, though I have been playing with enemy AI. But so far, like, what I've done is I've created this player controller with some attack stuff. Uh, I got it working on some test enemies. And I, I've just kind of created this test area. And, and this test area is going to be where I test the mechanics and I get the game uh, running smoothly. So pretty much... This is, this is what I got, you know, just a player controller, some temporary art, uh, some mechanics, some base, some very um, rudimentary mechanics, um, and yeah, it, this is pretty much the game so far. I kind of wish I had more to show right now, but I figured I'd start pretty early and start showing the game off. Um, even before I think it's ready. I think a lot of artists, we have like... We have this like uh, this thing in our head that tells us it'll never be ready, you know. Like, wait, don't show the game yet until it's like fully ready, and I think that um, that's pretty detrimental. So I'm trying to fight that, you know. I don't want to be forever stuck, not not willing to show any progress. I just don't think it's helpful. So yeah, this is the game. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty. It's, it's pretty similar to most Metroidvanias you've seen. Like, the character moves pretty similarly. Um, I'll probably experiment a little bit more. Like I said, this is just me experimenting right now. Um, there's I might, I might change up the character animation. I might change this attack up. I don't know if I like this. The way the character kind of stops and stalls when attacking. 
I don't like that. It kind of looks like the character is just like... It looks like the character is sliding on the ground, and I don't think that's good. So, um, I might need to change that animation or change this, this attack completely. Um, right now, I'm working on the first enemy, so... I think learning how to time things is going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, because I... I'm a huge fan of like Souls games, and I think I think uh, combat is really important, and I think you got to spend a lot of time tweaking that, and that's what I plan on doing um, between now and the next devlog. So right now, I've just got a baseline down. Um, I have a story; it's completely written. I don't really want to spoil it, but uh, it involves kind of exploring this subterranean um, forest under the ground. And kind of figuring out how things can grow underground and what's down here and uh, trying to escape. It's pretty much the plot of the game. But yeah, this is the game so far. Um, you know, nothing much to show off yet, but I thought I'd start showing it off, you know. Just, just start a little bit earlier. And if you guys have any ideas on, like, the best way to implement good enemies and enemy AI, or if you, if you know any YouTube videos you could recommend me, I mean that'd be amazing. Um, I'm still the I'm I'm still a little baby, little baby game maker, baby developer. These are the first baby steps um, of making this game. So yeah, I mean, hopefully I'd like to get the enemies going and get the, get the combat system working really good, and then I'll probably start expanding the levels and kind of just building the game out from there, um, piece by piece, as you would. But yeah, so this is the game. Thank you guys for checking out this devlog. Um, let me know if you guys think this is uh, something you want to see. If you want to see updates on this game. What you think of the art so far. Um, even though it's, you know, even though it's placeholder. What ideas you have. I'd love to just, I'd love to hear from you guys. So yeah, uh, I know this is kind of a random video to come from me. But <laughs> I appreciate y'all sticking around. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say, so. The end. The end. Done.